Good evening, friends. This side, Rahul Magan here as a Group Chief Executive Officer, Treasury Consulting. As we speak, Treasury Consulting is a multinational headquartered group based out Singapore. We are a multi-asset and multinational hedge fund. By multi-asset, we mean we take positions in multiple asset classes of the globe, which includes gold, silver, platinum, palladium, base metal, agriculture commodities, foreign exchange, equities, contract for differences, and many more. God willing, we soon would be adding two more in our kitty, which is DLC, Daily Leverage Certificate from Singapore and Factor Certificate from Switzerland. Our fund is completely ready to launch these two instruments in our kitty. But like I repeated many a times, and I would continue to repeat all the times that we are a proprietary hedge fund. By proprietary, I mean to say no third party. I repeat, no third party can invest capital in our funds. We and none of our subsidiaries is inviting any third party in our fund structure. Around two months ago, especially Bloomberg hyped a crypto platform and the name of that crypto platform is FTX. I repeat FTX. And the founder of that or you can say the CEO of that platform, Mr. Sam Bankman Fright, shortly known as SBF. So in this subsequent, uh, in this, uh, as the video would move, I would refer him as SBF. His full name is Sam Bankman Fright. Bloomberg hyped him in such a way that, in fact, I have read many articles on the internet which confirms that he is the next Warren Buffet of the crypto. Basically, the hype reached at that level. And you know that I am a person of statistics, I am a person of intrinsic value, I am a person of logic. So I was simply watching that. I was simply watching that and doing nothing. And I was just looking that what the hell this person is promoted as a next Warren Buffet. And around after two months, which we today, which means November 2022, this company, FTX Crypto Exchange, who claims to be amongst largest crypto exchanges in the world, as we speak, is more or less collapse. By the way, I am not using a word collapse. It is the Binance and other public sources who are using the word collapse. I am not using the word collapse. Please take a note of that. Before I move further, I once again reiterate my point that whenever media hype anything, whenever, whether this is an index, whether this is a stock, whether this is any crypto exchange, whether this is any, you know, bank, whether this is any financial product, I always listen, but I never invest my money in this product. And I have given you ample, ample of examples in the last one and a half years when our predictions turned true. Example, SoftBank. Example, Indian IT companies. And please be rest assured, more predictions are on the way. Today, the scene is like that. FTX is completely collapsed. 
दे आर फेसिंग अ कैश क्रंच एंड थैंक्स टू एफ टी एक्स द क्रिप्टो मार्केट इज फॉलोइंग अगेन ईथर विच टच ऑलमोस्ट सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड एंड एटी एंड वॉज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स एटीन हंड्रेड इज नाउ स्ट्रगलिंग टू रिटेन थर्टीन हंड्रेड and i'm sure that millions of investors millions of investors who bought ether in a very huge quantity at 1600 hoping they would be getting 1800 and where they would be booking the profits now they are bill gates why because they are booking losses heavy losses i already warned people many times that whenever media hype any personality just assume that something big is going to get happen and bloomberg is a master in this 2 to 3 months ago when the crypto industry was almost collapsed this gentleman fbk came in public domain and said that i can buy this company i can buy this company i can buy this company and so what happened in the last 2 to 3 month that ends up the collapse of his own company i went through many articles and one of the interesting articles i got to know from the bbc you know and according to the article bbc ftk ftx struck a bailout deal with a large rival binance and according to that article approximately 6 billion dollars you heard me very right 6 billion dollars worth of withdrawal happened only in the last 3 to 4 days and common sense withdrawal is happening in losses suppose i am holding ether in some exchange and exchange collapsed it means i am booking losses as simple as that binance also said that they agreed to buy non us unit of the ftx pending due diligence now that heavy word of due diligence is something which we need to investigate and which we are investigating i am sure media would never investigate this the pressure on ftx came in part when mr zoyo the binance person tweeted that binance would sell its holding in ftx digital token known as ftt and do you know that majority of the digital token is held by their own research firm amanda that is the another beauty of life binance said it signed a letter of intent to buy the firm but had the desertion of pull out from the deal at any time technically speaking this is known as non binding letter of intent so there are two letter of intent one is known as binding letter of intent and what is known as non binding letter of intent actually it is three types one is known as hybrid letter of intent so binding letter of intent means that now whatever happen you have to buy this whatever happen whether you ends up in a profit or you ends up in a loss you have to buy this non binding means i am evaluating i am interested but i am not i am giving in writing that i am interested in your asset your asset look cheap to me i am interested to invest the money but having said that there is no guarantee i am giving to you that i would be buying your asset but yes i am interested i am doing the due diligence the hybrid letter of intent means that you would be giving in writing that boss you have 200 assets okay out of 200 assets i would be definitely buying 10 so 10 1 2 3 4 whatever 10 10 i would be buying that i am giving you in writing whatever whether it would ends up in profit or it would ends up in losses that is my problem it's not your problem 
but the rest 190 out of 200, 200 minus 10, 190, I am doing the due diligence. So if the due diligence work, I will definitely buy. But if the due diligence do not work or there would be any substantial valuation issues, I will wind up as simple as that. I will straight away wind up my I will straight away wind up my deal. According to the article by BBC, as revelation about his company Fragile Finances came to light in reporting by Coindesk. Those outspoken interviews are now coming back to bite him. More crypto exchanges will fail. He himself said that more crypto exchanges will fail in one of the interviews whereby he said that many uh, crypto exchanges are secretly insolvent and now it is his turn. He is secretly insolvent. Guys, do remember one thing very carefully that although the more would be coming in the second part, in the latest course of time, I would say in the latest course of time, we would see a more, more, more collapse of crypto exchanges. This is just the beginning. I repeat, this is just the beginning. If you're thinking that the mess is done, then you are absolutely incorrect because soon you will have more mess coming. The biggest question here is the audit piece, which I would like to raise. And unfortunately, no one is raising that point. You know, guys, we really need to understand that audit play a very important role as far as the any organization is concerned. And here, here I am talking about the amongst largest crypto exchanges in the world. In the last three days, near about six billion, near about six billion worth of withdrawal have been taken. CoinDesk which is one of the leading research platform in crypto, came in public domain and said that they got a possession of some internal document of, Amen, of Alame, Alameda Research, which suggests that the majority component in the balance sheet of Alameda Research is the FTT. FTT means the FTX exchange coins just like binance having its own coin there are many private coins which we which we are having it thus raises a very very severe question about the corporate responsibility and the role of the auditor of ftx the basic problem here is that you do not have the annual report of these exchanges you know in the public you do not knew that in which coins they did invested, how much is the composition of the coins and so on and so forth. Because of this, you not been able to assess the mess which, you know, I would say these exchanges created. But having said that, and I'm very clear on one thing on time to time basis that soon we will see a big mess on the cards which precisely means we will see many more crypto exchanges would collapse. And one thing that fears me, of course, I am going on to Google, evaluating a lot of sources. And of course, I need some time for that because everything is not available on the Google also, which is called Interbank. We have seen 3AC, we have seen Celsius, we have seen many crypto hedge funds collapses which ends up triggering the contagion risk in the crypto market. The end result, the Bitcoin, which was at around 45,000, struggling every day even to sustain 18,000, 19,000, 20,000 levels. FTX is a big exchange. So common sense, they are having uh, their interbank relationship with the big exchanges also. There is no doubt about that. 
Now, whether these interbank relations are public or whether it is private, we have no information. I'm trying to scrutinize that information from Google. It will take some time, definitely. But one thing I'm sure is that either they are public or private, the crypto future, I'm not saying it is not bright. It is definitely bright. But having said that, many private crypto coins, I repeat, many private crypto coins would be facing the end. Because they are staying on a valuation which is which cannot be justified. Example, media said that this person SBF, he lost $15 billion. My question is, out of this $15 billion, how much is the cash? This is all valuation. And who valued it? That's more important thing. Who valued it? It's a private valuation. Example, Uber, who claims to be a billion dollar company, the real matter is they are sitting on 23 plus billion dollar of outstanding losses, which they have to set off. So how can we believe that Uber is a billion dollar company? Uber is not at all a billion dollar company. On time to time basis, I would like to request people that crypto is definitely a good thing i always support crypto there is no doubt about that we need decentralized finance no doubt about that but having said that one thing which we need to understand with one thing which we need to appreciate thoroughly and clearly is that many crypto exchanges worldwide are sitting on fake valuations just like we have seen in the case of softbank paytm nika Policy Bazaar, 3AC, Celsius, and many such players in the recent past. Henceforth, if you are taking a position only because the media is hyping, then it's completely up to you. But one thing I'm very clear that as we speak, the balance sheet of FTX exchange is not in public. But I'm trying very hard on Google to get as maximum information i can get about ftx balance sheet and alamenda research once i have the information i would let you know but once again i would like to congratulate bloomberg i would like to congratulate the paid media i would like to con congratulate the you know the david robinson show on bloomberg because they gave sufficient hype to fcx FTX sufficient height and by the way I'm talking about let me cover Binance in a bit Binance who coming forward to buy FTX please check the uh, you know the stock price stock price of Binance also please check the valuation of the Binance coin also and you would get to know that the Binance who is coming forward to help FTX where exactly the Binance stand but please do remember very carefully please do remember that trillions of dollars is at stake trillions of dollars is at stake please don't go on hype go on fundamental research this is what I can tell you this is Rahul Magan from Tenshi Consulting Group you knew my personal number plus nine one nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight plus nine one nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight have a great time ahead more such news on the cards thank you guys see you soon